Good evening, everyone, and a welcome to worship this evening on this, the second Sunday of Lent. This evening service is a gentle and quiet, reflective service of contemporary Compline. May your time in worship and prayer be blessed and be a time for renewal and refreshment for you at the end of a long day. May the angels of God guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. May the Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labour that we haste to rise up early and so late to take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. My brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Most holy God, thank you for all that is good, for our creation and our humanity, for the stewardship you have given us of our world, for the gifts of life and of one another, for the love which is unbounded and eternal. O thou most holy and beloved, our companion, our guide upon the way, our bright evening star. We repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love. O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being. All that we are, have been and shall be is known to you, to the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame, burn into us, cleansing breath, breathe through us. Fountain of water, well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Amen. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, Alleluia. Psalm 16 O God, I give you thanks for the wisdom of your counsel. Even at night you have instructed my heart. I have set your face always before me. You are at my right hand and I shall not fall. Therefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices, my flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not give me over to the power of death, nor let your faithful one see the pit. In your presence is the fullness of joy, and from your right hand flow delights for evermore. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 121 I will lift up my eyes to the mountains, but where shall I find help? From you alone, O God, does my help come, creator of the ever-changing hills. You will not let me stumble on the rough pathways. You care for me, and watch over me without ceasing. I am sure that the guardian of my people neither slumbers nor sleeps. The God of all nations keeps watch like a shadow spread over me. So the sun will not strike me by day, nor the moon by night. You will defend me in the presence of evil. You will guard my life. You will defend my going out and my coming in 
this night and always. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and for ever. Amen. reading from St Paul's letter to the early church at Ephesus. According to the riches of God's glory, may you be strengthened in your inner being with power through the Holy Spirit, and may Christ dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. In the calm, relaxed quietness of this evening hour, you are telling me something, Lord. Something about the frenzy, the hectic, panicked pace of life at noonday. For despite all the crises, all the impossible demands, the unmeetable assignments, the inhuman deadlines of the heat of the day, somehow evening always comes. The tempo slows down, and those decisions at noon can be reviewed in the cool, clear light of eternity. Let the peace of evening become so much a part of me, and me a part of it, Lord, that I can take it with me into the working day tomorrow. Let me store this peace away now at the back of my mind, the roots of my soul, and then bring it out, even momentarily, when all seems lost and hopeless. Thus, grant me, Father, to share a little here and now, in the vision, the experience of eternity. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in your peace. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day. God's promise is fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations, a light to the world in its darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and for ever. Amen. Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in your peace. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest. For it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt God above all for ever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all for ever. Be present, Spirit of God, within us, your dwelling place and home. May all darkness be penetrated by your light, all troubles calmed by your peace, all evil redeemed by your love, all pain transformed in your suffering, and all dying glorified in your risen life. Amen. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in your presence, O God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. Kindle in our hearts, O God, the flame of love that never ceases that it may burn in us, giving light to others. May we shine forever in your temple, set on fire with your eternal light, even your Son, Jesus Christ, our Saviour and Redeemer. Amen. The blessing of God, the eternal goodwill of God, the shalom of God, the wildness and the warmth of God be among us and between us, now and always. The Divine Spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. May the Divine Assistance remain with us always and with our absent friends. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for our service of Contemporary Compline this evening. I hope the rest of this evening is peaceful and gentle for you as the day draws to a close. And every blessing to you and yours for the week ahead. Good night and God bless.